Okay. I have to delete my save file for this, but hopefully it's worth it. Also, fucking hell, the game is loud. Um. There we go. All right. Let's start. Presented by Sharon, of course, as always. I hear sirens. I can't move my body. It's pitch black in front of me. What's going on? Am I... dead? I woke up to find myself in a white room. It appeared to be a hospital room. I was lying in a bed. Who am I? I can't remember anything. Do I have amnesia? There was a girl sitting next to me. A teacup was sitting on the nearby table. Did she put it there for me? I wonder what's in it. Um, strawberry milk, honey milk, cafe, lay. I forgot how you say it. Um, cafe lay. Some cafe lay. Day one, awakening. Are you awake? Kantaro Senpai, I was so worried. Hoo <laughs> hoo, what's wrong? Your eyes are as white as saucers. I can't remember anything. Where am I? Who are you? Uh, who are you? Huh? Kantaro. Do you have amnesia? So, you don't remember anything about me either? How disappointing. I wanted to see your reaction when you saw that I had come to visit you. I was looking forward to it. I'm Ayano. Ayano Cafe Lay. I guess you don't remember, but the truth is, you were on the verge of dying. You happened to be in the path of a crazed murderer, and they stabbed you and beat, uh, and beat up your head real bad. It was horrible. I'm really glad you're alright. I was worried you might not wake up. Everyone else from our from our club came to see you too. What club? Touch your butt. Ah, uh, what club? You're the captain of the football club. I refuse to call it that. Football club. And would you believe it? I was the team's manager. Haha. Uh -huh. Surprise, senpai. I was surprised. Yeah. Kantaro, it's like you've become a different person altogether. It's kind of scary. Well, I already knew you were a weirdo, though. 
Is your head okay? It's fine or shut it, bitch. Oh my god. It's fine. Oh yeah. It's about time for practice to start, so I'll be taking my leave. You must be com confused from the amnesia. I'm sure you'll be back to normal before long. It's okay. No need to rush it. Because I'll be cheering you on. So from here on out, as your manager... No, as your junior... Be nice to me, okay? Just act like you... Just act like you always have. Even if you can't remember anything, that's okay. You just do whatever you think feels right, I'm sure everything will be fine. Oh. Um, Kantaro, if you want, feel free to drink the coffee Leia brought you. Don't worry, it's not poisoned. I wouldn't do something like that to you. So, see you later. The girl who called herself Ayano Cafe Lei went home. She seems to be my junior. Apparently, she'll be back to see me tomorrow too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Ayano again. Usa! Hello. I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Do you like Ayano? Yes. What a coincidence. I do too. I think Ayano's the cutest. Care to save? Yes. There's a nameplate here. Mr. Kantaro. It's a chair. Ayano was sitting here. A table that's rather stylish for being in a hospital. Oops, I did not mean to do that, but I'm pretty sure the menu is completely useless in this game. It looks like it's raining outside. My sullen face is reflected in the window. I think I might be pretty handsome. The clock is ticking away as time passes. Should I sleep already? Not yet. Um... It's a chest of drawers. Looking at it more closely shows it's not simply a chest of drawers. It's had a refrigerator integrated with it. Inside is the cafe au lait Ayana brought, me, brought for me. There's a nameplate here. Oh wait, yeah. There's a hallway beyond the store. The lights have been turned off. I probably shouldn't go out. It's a closet. There are clothes and a coat hanging in here. Maybe they're mine? Should I go to sleep already? Yes. Day 2. Outing. Good morning, Kantaro. How are you feeling? Have you calmed down a bit? Yeah, mostly. Show me your panties. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, mostly. Oh? That's good. I was so worried last night. I couldn't sleep. So, I'm kind of sleepy right now. But I'm still worried about you. Hey, Kantaro, if you're up to it. How about going outside for a bit? Just for some fresh air. If you keep yourself holed up in here... You only say gloomy. How about it? I think it's a good idea. Alright, I'll go. We're no way in hell. Uh, alright, I'll go. I knew it, let's go. I'm gonna do a separate run where I... Where I choose the... The asshole options. It's a nice clear day today. The sky is so pretty. I'm glad I could see the sky with you. It's so sad. You've forgotten 
everything. It's almost like you've gone and left me behind or something. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blame you for anything. Please don't make that face. Although... Do you really not remember a single thing about what happened before you lost your memory? Nope. I see. So I guess you don't know who did it. I hope you're- I hope we're able to catch them. I'll even help you look for the culprit, for your sake. Though, if you don't remember anything about them, you don't really have much to go on. But... It seems this is the beginning of a new life. They say there are no do-overs in life, but here you are, about to st start with a clean slate. When you think of it that way, your amnesia doesn't seem so bad anymore. Do you still feel like you want to get your memories back? Yeah, I want to get them back. I want to start over. Um. Yeah, I want to get them back. I see. If that's how you feel, I think that's the way to go. It's your own life after all, not mine. Senpai, how about we take a trip to school? It's a bit of a walk from here, but maybe you'll remember something if you see the rooms. Everyone always called you a genius, so even if you've lost your memory, I'm sure you haven't lost your skill. I want to see you playing football again. It's been a while. Let's go. I'm only gonna look around. Let's go. Well, it's fine if we just go for a look. Let's head over there. We walk to school together. I had lost the ability to play football or do anything else, but Ayano stayed by my side without ever looking angry or disappointed. With amnesia, we were like complete strangers to each other, and yet, Ayano was completely devoted to me. Was Ayano like this back when I knew her too? I'm sure she supported me back then as well. Somewhere along the way, I seem to have started to, pl to pay more attention to her smiling face. I'm not sleepy yet. Table that's first established for being in the hospital. It's a chair. I know we're sitting here. Usa, I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Okay. There's a nameplate here. Looks like it's raining outside. My sullen face is reflecting the window. I think I might be pretty handsome. Talk the clock is ticking, ticking away as time passes. It's a chest of drawers. Looking at it more closely shows it's not simply a chest of drawers. It's had a refrigerator integrated with it. Inside is the coffee you lay iron about for me. Hmm? There are explicit, explicit photos inside one of the drawers. There are quite a few of them. They seem to all be of the same girl. I can't really make out her face, but she seems cute. I wonder who took them. Now I'm kind of turned on. <laughs> a closet. There are clothes and a coat hanging in there. Maybe they're mine? Chest of drawers. Oh, okay. Nothing. So, there's a hallway beyond this door. The lights have already been turned off. I probably shouldn't go out. Should I go to sleep already? Yes. I hate this ticking noise. It's always bothered me. Day 3. Suspicion. Hello, Kantaro. Sorry for being late today. The club kept me busy. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't... 
Don't worry. We'll be able to make it work. Football is an older risk to life anyway. Everyone has their preferences when it comes to what they like to do. Me? Well, I like looking at you. Whenever I look at you, I get the strange feeling inside me. Ooh -hoo -hoo. How'd you like that? Did your heart skip a beat? My heart jumped, my dick jumped. <laughs> I'll save that for later, my heart jumped. I'm sure it did. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Kantaro. Why are, you guys, why are you guys always so perverted? It's just how guys are. I'm asexual! <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I don't remember these options. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> I do not remember this at all. That's how guys are. <laughs> hmm, really? I guess I just don't get it. But... Forcing girls to do dirty things is bad. No, not just that. It makes you a bad person. Both people... Both people have to consent for it to be okay. That's what I think. Uh, why am I even talking about something like that? How embarrassing. Anyway. Oh wow, it's already this late. I gotta get home. <laughs> Sorry. I wasn't able to stay very long. I have to go make dinner for my younger brothers. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, table is rather stylish for being in the hospital. It's a chair. Ayana was sitting here. I'm not sleepy yet. There's a hallway beyond the store. The lights have been turned off. I probably shouldn't go out. There's a nameplate. Mr. Cantaro. It looks like it's raining outside. My son face is reflected on the window. I think I might be pretty handsome. The clock is ticking away as time passes. The chest of drawers. Looking at it more closely shows that it's not simply a chest of drawers. It's I had a refrigerator integrated with it. Inside is the cafe au lait Ayana brought for me. Usa. I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Yes. It's a closet. There are clothes and a coat hanging in there. Maybe they're mine. There are some shoes too. Hmm? There's a thumbtack in one of them. Take it out? Yes. It won't come out. Seems like it's... It's... Seems like it's been clued down. Someone really went out of their way for this prank. I wonder who did it. Whoever it was, they've succeeded in piece in pissing me off. Should I go to sleep already? Yes. <laughs> Usa is just always there. Day four, cafe lay. Today, Ayano told me that she wanted to come over to my house to play, so I brought her. The two of us were alone with the door closed. I was somewhat nervous. Ayano didn't say anything, and neither did I. The move was just kind of like that. Senpai. Um, I... I squeeze. I know wrapped her arms around me. I um I love You didn't have to say it, I know. Uh you didn't have to say it. I'm so glad you really did notice how I felt after all. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Being this close to you calms me down. You smell so nice. Hey, Kantaro. 
He always got the highest grades in class. And everyone was always focused on you in the football club. You were so popular. I envied you. I wanted you. But you were always so far ahead of me. I always thought you didn't see me as anything more than the manager. But to be like this, as more than just a manager, I'm so happy. Please hug me tight. No way. Alright, push her over. Um, do you really not remember why you lost your memory? Why you were so close to dying? I guess you really don't remember anything. You're just as resilient as a cockroach. If only you had died back then. Why didn't you just die without a fuss? I'm pretty sure I stabbed you right in the heart. With this very hand. Yes, I'm sure of it. There's no way I'd miss. I didn't just stab you either. I smashed your head up with a bat. It's pretty weird actually. I was sure I had killed you. I was really shocked, you know. I thought you were dead, but then I saw you at the hospital, alive. <laughs> As she said that, Ayano removed something from her, from her inside pocket. The moment I saw it, I tossed her away from me. Ow! You're mean, Kantaro. Pushing a girl like that is terrible. Looks like a butter knife. Why are you running? Kantaro, are you afraid of me? Look how much your knees are trembling. I guess that means you still want to live. Even though you're nothing but absolute trash. So what did I do? Just snap out of it, I know. Snap out of it, I know. Snap out of it? I'm perfectly normal right now. No need to worry. I guess you don't remember what you did to me. Shall I remind you of what you've done? Of course I will. An endless amount of teasing and bullying of me every day. That's what you did. Show me your panties. Let me cop a feel. Let me take a picture. Let's do it. Stuff like that. A grade A genius student who was popular with the girls. And yet, you were like that behind the scenes. Who would have thought? It was hard on me. Even if I had tried to tell everyone the truth, I probably would have ended up killing myself anyway. No one would have believed me. So I realized that this hellish existence would continue unless I dealt with it with my own two hands. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. I'll kill you slowly. So, so slowly. After all, I love... Love... Love, 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 despise, 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 hate, 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 hate! 
hate you so much that I can't stand it. I hate you so much that I want to slaughter you. <laughs> this time. This time. This time I'll definitely wring the life out of you. Time to make you all better, senpai. Kill Ayano. I lunged at Ayano. Ah! I had aimed well. The knife flew out of her hand. The now disarmed Ayano was helpless against me. Ayano panicked and tried to grab the knife, but I pulled her back by the hair. And then... I wrapped my hands around her neck and squeezed with all my might. Ayano was looking at me with a face that was pleading for me to stop. I didn't let up at all. I was definitely going to kill her. Finally, after I felt her body go limp, I realized my grip I released my grip on her. It wasn't enough. She wasn't dead yet. So I grabbed the nearby trophy made of metal. I could have just grabbed the knife. And I slammed it into her head. One time, two times, three times. For a while, all I could think about was bashing her head in. That was just about enough, I thought. Ayano had stopped breathing a while back. I had killed her. I killed her because she tried to kill me. It was nothing more than self-defense. A just punishment, I thought. How long had passed since then? Ayano's killer still hasn't been found. Who was it that killed her? No one knew but me. I had disposed of the body well. She hadn't even been found by anyone. Today is the day I leave the hospital. I gathered my things and started walking down the hallway. When I saw it, I didn't believe it. In the room, with the door slightly open, there was a face I had seen before. Lying in bed was Ayano. She was covered in injuries. Most of her body was wrapped up in bandages. I'm sure I had given them to her. Ayano's vacant eyes shifted to look at me. I took a step back, startled, but there was no reaction from Ayano. With a smile on her face, she asked, Who are you? Bad end. Amnesia. Jesus Christ. Um. Alright. We're going for uh, asshole options now. Day one, awakening. Are you awake? Kantaro Senpai, I was so worried. Who <laughs> who? What's wrong? Your eyes are as white as saucers. Can you remember anything? Where am I? Who are you? Um What did I go for the last time? Uh I can't remember anything. Huh? Kantaro, do you have amnesia? So, you don't remember anything about me either? How disappointed. How disappointing. I wanted to see your reaction when I saw that I'd come to visit you. 
I was so looking forward to it. I'm Aino. Aino Cafe Lei. I guess you don't remember, but truth is you were on the verge of dying. You happened to be in the path of a crazed murderer and they stabbed you and beat uh, and beat up your head real bad. It was horrible. I'm really glad you're alright. I was worried you might not wake up. Everyone else from our club came to see you too. Touch your ass. Kya! Jeez, you perv. I guess that part about you is still the same even without your memory. You were the captain of the football club. And would you believe it? I was the team's manager, haha. Surprise, senpai? I was surprised. I don't know. Kantaro, it's like you've become a different person altogether. It's kind of scary. Well, I already knew you were a weirdo, though. Is your head okay? It's fine. Shut it, bitch. <laughs> don't worry. I'm not mad. Oh yeah, it's about time for practice to start. So, I'll be taking my leave. You must be confused from the amnesia. I'm sure you'll be back to normal before long. It's okay, no need to rush it. Because I'll be cheering you on. So from here on out, as your manager, no, as your junior, be nice to me, okay? Just act like you always have, even if you can't remember anything, that's okay. If you just do whatever you think feels right, I'm sure everything will be okay. Oh. Um, Kantaro, if you want, feel free to drink the coffee Alea brought you. Don't worry, it's not poisoned. I wouldn't do something like that to you. So, see you later. Big ass bitch. Um, the girl who called herself Aino Kafile went home. She seemed to be my junior. Apparently, she'll be back to see me tomorrow, too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Aino again. Usa! Do you like Aino? No. Hmm. Care to save? Yes. Uh, we can just sleep. Yes. Day two, outing. Good morning, Kantaro. How are you feeling? Have you calmed down a bit? Yeah, mostly. Show me your panties. Nope. I was so worried last night. I couldn't sleep. So, I'm kind of sleepy right now. But I'm still worried about you. Hey, Kantaro. You're up to it. How about going outside for a bit, just for some fresh air? If you keep yourself holed up in here, you'll only stay gloomy. How about it? I think it's a good idea. No way in hell. Ugh, you're never going to regain your memory of that kind of attitude. Come on, let's go already. It's a nice clear day today. The sky is so pretty. I'm glad I could see the sky with you. It's so sad. You've forgotten everything. It's almost like you've gone and left me behind or something. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blame you or anything. Please don't make that face. Although... Do you really not remember a single thing about what happened before you lost your memory? Not one thing. I see. So I guess you don't know who did it. I hope we're able to catch them. I'll even help you look for the culprit for your sake. 
Though if you do though if you don't remember anything. Though if you don't remember anything about them, we don't really have much to go on. But it seems this is the beginning of your new life. They say there are no do-overs in life. But here you are, about to start with a clean slate. When you think of it that way, your amnesia doesn't seem so bad anymore. You still feel like you want to get your memories back? Mm, I want to start over. I see. If that's how you feel, I think that's the way to go. It's your own life after all, not mine. Senpai, how about we take a uh, trip to school? It's a bit of a walk from here, but maybe you'll remember something if you see the rooms. Everyone always calls you a genius, so even if you've lost your memory, I'm sure you haven't lost your skill. I want to see you playing football again. It's been a while. I'm only gonna look around. Well, it's fine if we just go for a look. Let's have a let's head over there. We walk to school together. I lost the ability to play football or do anything else, but I no stayed by my side without ever looking angry or disappointed. With amnesia, we were like complete strangers to each other, and yet Ayana was completely devoted to me. Was Ayana like this back when I knew her too? I'm sure she supported me back then as well. Somewhere along the way, I seem to have started to, pl to pay more attention to her smiling face. It's a chest of drawers. Wonder who took them, now I'm kinda turned on. You horny motherfucker. Thank you, Usa. My boy. Did I go to sleep already? Yes. Day 3, Suspicion. Hello, Kantaro. Sorry for being late today. The club kept me busy. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't... Don't worry. We'll be able to make it work. Football isn't all there is to life anyway. Everyone has their preferences when it comes to what they like to do. Me? Well, I like looking at you. Whenever I look at you, I get the strange feeling inside me. <laughs> How do you like that? Did your heart skip a beat? My, d my dick jumped. Oh, you're such a perv. Kantaro. Why are you guys always so perverted? I'm asexual. You are? I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think he is. Sorry if that touched on something personal that happened to you. But forcing girls to do dirty things is bad. No, not just that. It makes you a bad person. Both people have to consent for it to be okay. That's what I think. Uh, why am I even talking about something like this? How embarrassing. Anyway. Oh wow, it's already this late. I gotta get home. Sorry I wasn't able to stay for very long. I have to go make dinners for my younger brothers. I'll see you tomorrow. It's a closet, some shoes too, there's a thumbtack in one of them, take it out, it won't come out, seems like it's being glued down, someone really went out of their way, 
went out of their way for this prank. I wonder who did it. Whoever it was, they've succeeded in pissing me off. Usa. Care to save? Absolutely. Thank you, my guy. Best boy. Should I go to sleep already? Yes. Day four, Cafe Lay. I still don't know how to say that. Today, Ayanna told me that she wanted to come over to my house to play, so I brought her. The two of us were alone with the door closed. I was somewhat nervous. Ayanna didn't say anything, and neither did I. The mood was just kind of like that. Senpai. Um, I... I squeeze I know wrapped her arms around me I um I love I know I'm so glad you really did notice how I fell after all I've wanted to do this for a long time. Being this close to you calms, calms me down. You smell so nice. Hey, Kantaro. You always got the highest grades in the class. And everyone was always focused on you and the football club. You were so popular. I envied you. I wanted you. But you were always so far ahead. Of me. I always thought you didn't see me as anything more than a manager. But to be like this is more than just a manager. I'm so happy. Please hug me tight. No way. Push her over. Hey, you perv. None of that. Um... Do you really not remember why you lost your memory? Why you were so close to dying? I guess you really don't remember anything. You're just as resilient as a cockroach. If only you had died back then. Why didn't you just die without a fuss? I'm pretty sure I stabbed you right in the heart. With this very hand. Yes, I'm sure of it. There's no way I'd miss. I didn't just stab you either. I smashed your head up with a bat. It's pretty weird, actually. I was sure I had killed you. I was really shocked, you know? I thought you were dead, but then I saw you at the hospital alive. Hoo hoo hoo. As she said that, I know removed something from her inside pocket. The moment I saw what it was, I tossed her away from me. Ow! You're mean, Kantaro. Pushing a girl like that is terrible. Right, I'm just gonna jump to the... to the only option that matters. Uh, just what did I do? I guess you don't remember what you did to me. Should I remind you of what you've done? Of course I will. An endless amount of teasing and bullying of me every day. That's what you did. Okay. Yes, you hate me. You hate me, I know. Time to make you all better, senpai. Accept it. I know stabbed me. 
she was grinding the knife deep into my heart. I felt an incredibly sharp pain as, as if my organs were being scooped out and lost all my strength. My body became increasingly covered in red. The blood flowing out of me was so warm. It will never come back. All of the things, all of the time, all of the time you stole from me, none of it will come back. And that applies to you as well. You will never regain your life. You can't take back what's been done. That's life. Though, really, I think it's just a punishment, Kantaro. Die. Just like that, Ayana left me there and walked away smiling. I simply lay there without the energy to move. Had I been deceived by Ayana? By, uh, <coughs> by Ayana? She had planned all that just for the sake of revenge. She probably had no intention of forgiving me from the very start. I couldn't move at all anymore. Did I know hate me that much? I must have been a real jerk before losing my memory. I was the kind of guy that was so detestable as to drive someone to murder. But I didn't know about any of that. I couldn't remember anything. My vision has had grown hazy. There probably wasn't a point in living anymore. I wouldn't be able to fix what I had caused. I and a smiling face came to mind when I... Okay. I and a smiling face came to mind. I think I may have, have loved her. If we had met under more normal circumstances, maybe we would have been able to be together. Go on dates, fall in love, love together. But that definitely wasn't going to happen now. And I'm sure that was already decided by the time I woke up. A single tear ran down my cheek. I hear sirens. True end. Unattainable love. Okay, that was one ending. Okay, let's uh, start a new game. Contains violent and grotesque depictions, yes. Work of fiction, we know. Made by Sharon, the Yandere Addicted Bitch. Uh, 
I hear sirens. I can't move my body. It's bitch black in front of me. What's going on? Am I... dead? I woke up to find myself in a white room. It appeared to be a hospital room. I was lying in the bed. Who am I? I can't remember anything. Do I have amnesia? There was a girl sitting next to me. A teacup was sitting on a nearby table. Did she put it there for me? I wonder what's in it. Um... We're gonna go for honey milk. I was gonna save honey milk till the end, but I think on the actual stream I did strawberry milk last, but honey milk is going to lead into the next game, so maybe I should go for that last, but I'm gonna go for honey milk anyway. I'm gonna try to keep it as uh, stream accurate as possible. Some milk with honey. Day one, awakening. Also, I'm realizing just now that... Uh, uh, uh. Go down. There we go. This should be good. Yes. Oh, you're awake. Hmm. What's up, bro? Can't remember anything? Where am I? Who are you? Where am I? Huh? Do you have, like, amnesia or something? You haven't forgotten about me or anything, right? No way. No way, no way, no way. There's no way you've forgotten about me, right? Really? Are you serious right now? You can't remember anything about me or yourself? Your name is Kantaro, and my name is Rikana. Rikana Millefiori. You're a disgusting MMO addicted neat hermit, and I'm your beloved little sister. How could you have forgotten that? Your Moe Moe little sister has come all this way to visit you, so show some gratitude. Well, remember anything yet? Nothing at all? My head hurts? You're an annoying sister. <laughs> annoying? You think that's how you should treat your little sister? Bro, you were hit by a car. Wow. I guess you really don't remember a thing. You're lucky I was the first to find you. Just a little longer and you probably would have died. You could even say it's because of me being quick to call an ambulance that you were saved. How about a little thanks? <laughs> I'm gonna do the, the asshole route first then. Shut up. Huh? Jeez, you're such a klutz. You wouldn't even be able to feed yourself if I wasn't around. All you do is play your online games. What's so fun about grinding levels all day? You can't even take a bath alone. At your age. You always complain when I'm not in there with you. Hehehehe. <laughs> that was a joke, of course. And that look on your face said you were taking it seriously. <laughs> Sorry for messing with you. But hey, we're siblings. Let's just get along, okay? No way. Yeah, whatever. Bro, you must be tired. Don't push yourself too hard. 
I'm gonna go home now. I left you some honey milk in the fridge. So, drink that and take it easy. I'll come see you tomorrow too. Is there anything you want me to bring you? Well, even if there is, I'm not gonna bring it. See ya! This bitch. The girl who called herself Rika Namile Fiori went home. She seemed to be my little sister. Apparently, she'll be back to see me tomorrow too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Rikana again. I want- I want to s I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Rikana again. I can't read. Um, actually I think these are different depending on uh, on what you pick. Usa, I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Wait, he doesn't have a uh, dialogue for. There's a nameplate here, Mr. Kantaro. He doesn't have a voice line for the uh, a voice line a dialogue for like the other two. I could have sworn he did. Looks like it's raining outside. My son face is reflecting the window. I think I might be pretty handsome. The clock is taken away as time passes. I'm not sleepy yet. A table that's rather stylish for being in a hospital. It's a chair. Rikana was sitting here. It's a chest of drawers. Looking at it more closely shows it's not simply a chest of drawers. It had a refrigerator, refrigerator integrated with it. I love refrigerators. Inside is the honey milk Rikana bought for me. Hmm? A passbook and seal are also on here. It looks like whoever owns this has 200 million yen. Could it be mine? If so, it'd be bad if anyone else found it. Found out about this. I should keep this safe. You hid the passbook and seal. It's a closet. There are clothes and a coat hanging in there. Maybe they're mine? There's a hallway beyond the store. The lights have already been turned off. I probably shouldn't go out. Should I go to sleep already? Yes. Day two, outing. Sup, stupid bro? Your darling little sister is back. Hey, are you crying? Oh, you must have been lonely, right? Nope. Huh? You weren't? Well, that's new. It's funny because the the asshole answers don't actually impact the story in any way, because the endings are always two of, are always just two. Did you drink your honey milk? I bought it with my eager allowance, you know. You better not have thrown it away or something. Oh, there's a little bit left. Don't mind if I do. Mmm, I just love the honey flavor in this. This yumness is wasted on you. Oh, that reminds me. Why don't we go out for a bit? Why or where? Why? Just for a change of pace, you know? You'll get all gloomy if you stay cooped up in here. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, the weather is so nice today. Well... Feeling any better? Or were you able to remember anything? Not a thing. I get it, I get it, don't worry. You don't have to remember it all at once, take your time. You know, I... I kind of hope you don't get your memory back. It feels kind of refreshing, being able to talk to you like this. <laughs> we, uh... We weren't really that close before. We never really talked to each other. 
But now that you've lost your memory, we have a chance to change all that, you know? I kind of feel like I've been able to get a little closer to you. I'm glad I was able to talk to you again after- Talk to you again, after all. I love you, bro. No homo. Heh <laughs> Did your heart jump just now? It totally did, didn't it? I bet it's been like crazy right now. It's running right like crazy. It might have skipped a beat. Not really. Not really. <laughs> you are really funny to mess with. That part about you is the same with or without your memory. I guess it's one of your traits. Now I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I haven't eaten anything since morning. Let's go grab a bite to eat. I'm starving to death here. You better treat me to something tasty. Come on, you're good for it, right? It's all for your cute, adorable little sister after all. No. Cheap ass. <laughs> I had a meal with my sister. I thought you said no. <laughs> Naturally, it was her beloved ramen. It seemed our relationship, which had been rather cold before, uh, but had been rather cold before I lost my memory, was headed in a better direction. Somewhere along the way, I seemed to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. I'm not sleepy yet. Usa. I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Absolutely. There's a hallway beyond the store. The lights have been turned off. I probably shouldn't go out. There's a nameplate here. Mr. Kantaro. Looks like it's raining outside. My swollen face is reflecting in the window. I think I might be pretty handsome. Clock is taken away as time passes. A table that's for a stylish for being in the hospital. It's a chest of drawers. Looking at it more closely shows that it's not simply a chest of drawers. It has a refrigerator integrated with it. Inside is the honey milk Rika the brought for me. Okay. It's a closet. There are clothes and a coat hanging in there. Maybe they're mine? Uh, what? Not sleepy yet. It's a chair. Rika was sitting here. Hmm? A piece of paper has fallen under the chair. Read it? Yes. Stupid, 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 stupid. What does this have to happen to me? Why do I have to pay for other people's crimes? It's fucked up. The world is fucked up. Whose note could this be? For now, I'll just keep it with me. You got someone's note. Should I go to sleep already? Yes. Day 3. Suspicion. Yo! How have you been, bro? I'm just as great as ever. Well, I'm just as hungry as ever, too. Man, I'm hungry. So, what's with the long face? I think you look way cuter when you're smiling. You really have a woman's face. You even look more feminine than some girls. So, do you have a girlfriend? I've never heard you talk about it. I don't. I might have one. I might have one. Huh? Really? Anyway, more importantly, I came here today because I want to talk to you about something. Come on, you're gonna be helping your cute little sister wash her troubles away. Try looking a bit happier.
So anyway, let me get serious for a minute. I'm thinking of going to one of those smart schools. Yeah, those schools where all the geniuses go. I know you're probably thinking something like, you of all people? But hey, I'm pretty smart. I've been studying hard too. I'm sure mom and dad would be proud too. Think it's a good idea, do whatever you want. Well, see, the problem is money. You're in charge of it, so I can't just use it as I please. That's why I'm always so hungry all the time. And I was thinking, well, I have a right to some of that money too, so I thought to talk to you about it. Well? Give her the password concealed. Give her only the needed amount. Really? Thanks, bro. I knew I could count on you. I'm definitely gonna make something of myself and come back to save you. Count on it. The next day, Ryukana didn't come to see me. The day after that, and the next one too. I kept waiting for her, but she never came. I was worried about her. Did she get in an accident? What kind of trouble could she have gotten herself into? Unable to sit around idly, I ran out of the hospital. I desperately searched everywhere for her, but I couldn't find her. A while later, I began looking into my family registry. Why? I didn't have a little sister. My deceased mother and father were my only family members. There's a... Care to save? Yes. Thank you, Usa. Useful as always. It's a chest of some drawers. Looking at it more closely shows it's not a simple chest. It's a closet. There are clothes and a coat hanging there. Maybe they're mine. Hmm? There's a note in the coat pocket. Read it. Mom died today. I'm all alone now. I have some money at least. Dad left it for me. I'll be okay for a while. From now on. I have to live on my own. It's going to be lonely, but I knew this day would come eventually. There are a lot of things written here that pique my interest. Could I have written this before I lost my memory? You got someone's note too. Did I go to sleep already? Yes. Day four, Mille Fiori. Several months had passed since then. I found Rikana in town. I followed Rikana so I wouldn't lose track of her, then caught up to her and forcefully grabbed her hand. Mille Fiori. What? Don't touch me, you fucking... Yeah, don't touch me, you're fucking gross. Huh? Little sister? <laughs> Are you a fucking idiot? You're still saying that stupid shit? There's no fucking way I'd be your little sister, dipshit. What's with that blank stare? It's really disgusting. School? <laughs> of course that was a lie. 
All I wanted was your money, dumbass. I mean, you got hit by a car. You're a single loser despite being rich. And you lost your memory. And I was the first one to find you. So you bet your ass I got the idea of pretending to be your sister to get loads of money. And hey, I think I did a pretty good job. In the end, you were the very definition of a sucker. You fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. You're joking. I know. Even I thought it was too good to be true. But wow, people really are this easy to trick. I did even better than I expected. <laughs> the person who gets fooled is the one who's at fault. You know, back in the day, I used to be the type who got tricked all the time. So I already know how you feel. Oh man, your face right now is just so great. Do you feel like you want to die now? I want to die. Well then, why don't you just die? Right at that moment, something inside me snapped. I pushed Rikana into the street. Huh? Wham. Rikana was run over by a car. And died. I killed Rikana. When I came back to my senses, I was running. I didn't want anyone to suspect me. It would be bad if there was any witnesses. If there happened to be any, I'd kill them. Those thoughts ran through my mind as I sprinted as fast as I could. I wondered how long I had been running, but I wasn't allowed to let my legs stop. A dazzling light filled my field of vision. A light was coming from a car. I was a fool. Both before and after losing my memory, I was a fool, I thought. Rikana, I'm sorry. I'll be there to see you soon. Bad end. Together. Together we made it. We made it even though we had our backs up against the wall. Alright. Oh, you're awake? Hmm? What's up, bro? Can't remember anything. Huh? Do you have, like, amnesia or something? You haven't forgotten about me or anything, right? <laughs> no way, no way, no way, no way. There's no way you've forgotten about me, right? Really? Are you serious right now? You can't remember anything about me or yourself? Her name is Kantaro. And my name is Rikana. Rikana Mila Fiori. You're a disgusting and more addicted neat hermit. And I'm your beloved little sister. How could you have forgotten that? Your moe moe little sister has come all this way to visit you, so show me some gratitude. Well, remember anything yet? Nothing at all. My head hurts. Uh, my head hurts. Bro, you were hit by a car. Wow. I guess you really don't remember a thing. You're lucky I was the first to find you. Just a little longer and you probably would have died. You could even say it's because of me being quick to call an ambulance that you were saved. How about a little thanks? Thanks. Jeez, you're such a klutz. You wouldn't even be able to feed yourself if I wasn't around. 
All you do is play online games. What's the fun about grinding levels all day? You can't even take a bath alone it at your age. You always complain to me when I'm not there with you. <laughs> that was a joke, of course. And that look on the, on your face said you were taking it seriously. <laughs> Sorry for messing with you, but hey, we're siblings. Let's just get along, okay? Alright. Bro, you must be tired. Don't push yourself too hard. I'm gonna go home now. I left some honey milk in the fridge, so drink that and take it easy. I'll come see you tomorrow, too. Is there anything you want me to bring you? Well, even if there is, I'm not gonna bring it. See ya! The girl who called herself Vicon Milafiri went home. She seemed to be my little sister. Apparently she'll be back to see me tomorrow too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Rikana again. Even though she was annoying as shit. Usa! Oh no. Yes. Okay. Day two, outing. Sup, stupid bro? Your darling little sister is back. Hey, are you crying? Oh, you must have been lonely, right? Yeah. I knew it, haha. <laughs> you really are hopeless without me. Did you drink your honey milk? I brought it with my meager allowance, you know. You better not throw it away or something. Oh, there's still a little bit left. Don't mind if I do. Mmm, I just love the honey flavor in this. This yumminess is wasted on you. Oh, that reminds me. Why don't we go out for a bit? Where? Just for a change of pace, you know. You'll get all gloomy if you stay cooped up in here. Come on, let's go, let's go. Oh, the weather's so nice today. Well, feeling any better? Or were you able to remember anything? Not really. I get it, I get it. Don't worry. You don't have to remember it all at once. Take your time. You know, I... Kinda hope you don't get your memory back. It feels kinda refreshing being able to talk to you like this. <laughs> we, uh, weren't really that close before. Never really talk to each other. But now that you've lost your memory, we have a chance to change all that, you know? Kinda feel like I've been able to get it. Fuck. Oh well, I read it already. I'm glad I was able to talk to you again after all. I love you, bro. <laughs> did your heart jump just now? Totally did, didn't it? I bet it's been like crazy right now. It's fluttering like, fl fluttering like crazy. Hey, <laughs> you really are fun to mess with. That part about you is the same with or without your memory. I guess it's one of your traits. Now I'm hungry. Are you hungry? I haven't eaten anything since morning. Let's go grab a bite to eat. I'm starving to death here. You better treat me to something tasty. Come on. You're good for it, right? It's all for your cute, adorable little sister after all. Fine. Yay, just as I expected. I had a meal with my sister. Naturally, it was her beloved ramen. It seemed our relationship, which had been rather cold before I lost my memory, was heading in a better direction. Somewhere along the way, I seemed to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. Okay, uh, right here. Alright, Usam. Um... 
Okay. Day three suspicion. Yo, how have you been, bro? I'm just as great as ever. Well, I'm just as hungry as ever, too. Man, I'm hungry. So, what's with the long face? I think you look way cuter when you're smiling. You already have a woman's face. You even look more feminine than some girls. So, do you have a girlfriend? I've never heard you talk about it. I don't. <laughs> well, duh. Anyway, more importantly... I came here today because I want to talk to you about something. Come on, you're gonna be helping your cute little sister with her troubles a wash her troubles away. Try looking a bit happier. So anyway, let me get serious for a minute. I'm thinking of going to one of those smart schools. Yeah, those schools where all the geniuses go. I know you're probably thinking something like you of all people. But hey, I'm pretty smart. I've been studying hard, too. I'm sure mom and dad would be proud, too. I think that would be a good idea. Well, see, the problem is money. You're in charge of it, so I can't use it as I please. That's why I am always so hungry all the time. And I was thinking, well, I have a right, of, I have a right to some of that money, too. So I thought to talk to you about it. Well? Give her the passbook and seal. Really? Thanks, bro. I knew I could count on you. I'm definitely gonna make something of myself and come back to save you. Count on it. Okay. Next day, Rikuna didn't come. We can... Can kind of skip this part up until the title card. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Usam. Okay. Should I go to sleep already? Yes. Day four, Mille Fiori. Several months had passed since then. I found Rikana in town. I followed Rikana so I wouldn't lose track of her. Then caught up to her and forcefully grabbed her hand. Rikana. What? Don't touch me. You're fucking gross. Oh shit. Huh? Little sister? <laughs> Are you a fucking idiot? You're still saying that stupid shit? There's no fucking way I'd be your little sister, dipshit. What's with that blank stare? It's really disgusting. School? <laughs> of course that was a lie. All that one was your money, dumbass. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... Let's just jump to the option. I know. Even though it was too good to be true... Wait, I know, even I thought it was too good to be true. But wow, people really are this easy to trick. I didn't even... better than I expected. <laughs> the person who gets fooled is the one who's at fault. You know, back in the day, I used to be the type who got tricked all the time, so I know how you feel. Oh man, your face right now is just so great. Do you feel like you want to die now? 
I don't want to die. I see. You're pretty disgusting. Though, seriously. Could you not look at me? You kind of stink too. Do you even bathe? Give me my money back. Let me just say this now. I'm not going to return anything you gave me. After all, you gave it to me. You gave it to me of your own free will. When you hand over money to a person, it's best if you think of it as giving them the money for free. Like a gift. Hope that helps. I'm sure you have it rough and all. But I did too, you know. Janelle. I've led a pretty interesting life up until now. All because of my dad's debt. It's been a real burden. I used to think, why do I have to live like this when it's not even my debt? So maybe, I just wanted someone else to feel a bit of the pain I went through. I wanted to convey to them, this is how shitty society is, or something. But really, I just wanted money. I've been thinking about living on my own. Kantaro, was it? You're a guy, so you can make it just fine even if you're broke. Well... It'll be tough for both of us. So let's do our best. So, good luck, dumbass. Rikana kind of walked off. I simply stood there, dumbfounded. Even though she had said those terrible things, even though she tricked me and stole my money, all I could do was watch her from behind as she walked away. I... I started walking. I still couldn't believe it. Had Rikana really gotten involved with me simply to take the money my parents had left me? I still believed in Rikana. I wanted to believe in her. Even though she would never come back to me. Even though she would never call me bro again. Don't just run forward without watching where you're going, stupid. It's dangerous. I felt as if she would just scold me like that. And I just kept running forward. Then it happened. I got hit by a car. Again. I hear sirens. True end. Money is everything.
I like how the credits spoil the other scenarios. <laughs> okay, on to the last scenario. Uh, also, between the last story and this one, uh, I literally just woke up. I was I fell asleep midway. So yeah. If I sound different, that's why. I hear sirens. I can't move my body. It's pitch black in front of me, just like my life. What's going on? Am I... dead? I woke up to find myself in a white room. It appeared to be a hospital room. I was lying in a bed. Who am I? I can't remember anything. Do I have amnesia? There was a girl sitting next to me. A tea Ugh. Okay, well, clearly I'm still asleep. A teacup was sitting on a nearby table. Did she put it there for me? I wonder what's in it. Inside the teacup was strawberry milk. Some strawberry milk. Day one, awakening. You're awake? Jeez, Kantaro, you had me worried. I... I thought you might never wake up again. Kantaro? I can't remember anything. Where am I? Where are you? I can't remember anything. Huh? Kantaro, don't tell me. Do you not remember me? Uh, are you saying you don't remember anything about yourself either? It's me, Nagisa. Nagisa Ichigare. I have no idea how to say that. You and I are going out. I'm your... Your girlfriend. Well, do you remember now? I don't know. That's a weird name. Who the hell are you? That's a weird name. Wow. You really don't remember anything. Is this what they call amnesia or whatever? Uh, I don't like this at all. How horrible. It's so sad that you've forgotten everything. Hey, you're just messing with me, aren't you? You actually do remember who I am, right? Please don't scare me like that. Just so you know, we were so close that we were practically about to get married, so you better take responsibility. Even if you've lost your memory, you're precious to me, Kantaro. I love you. I love you more than anyone else in the world. Thanks. Hmm. Pretty hard for me, you know? When I heard you were on the verge of dying, I thought my heart was gonna stop. But I'm really, really glad you woke up. I'm so glad I feel like I could cry. Uh. 
there, there, just do it already. There, there. We'll do asshole run last. Thank you. Pantaro. I don't know why, but it feels kind of sad. The only one that remembers anything about you. Wait, I'm the only one that remembers anything about you. Even you yourself don't remember anything. I need a hot drink. Your face has a look like we're meeting for the first time. It's weird. Sniff. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. I'll come see you again tomorrow, okay? I'm gonna bring you some more of that strawberry milk you love so much. See you later. Have a nice rest, Kantaro. The girl who called herself Nakisa Ichigaure went home. She seems to be my girlfriend. Apparently she'll be back to see me tomorrow too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Nagisa again. Boarding ass. Usa! The real best girl. I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Yes. There's a nameplate here. Mr. Kantaro. There's a hallway beyond this door. I can sense someone standing behind it. Ah. Kantaro, you're awake? That's good. Who are you? Who the hell are you? Who are you? Huh? Uh... <laughs> the girl walked away. It seems she knows me. I wonder who she could be. Looks like it's raining outside. My solemn face is reflecting the window. I think I might be pretty handsome. Clock is ticking away as time passes. A table that's rather stylish for being in the hospital. It's a chair. Nagisa was sitting here. It's a chest of drawers. Looking at it closely shows it's not simply a chest of drawers. It's had a refrigerator integrated with it. Inside it's the strawberry milk Nagisa brought for me. It's a closet. There are clothes and a coat hanging in here. Maybe they're mine. Should I go to sleep already? Yes. Day two. Outing. Good morning. How are you feeling? Were you able to sleep well? Did you remember anything? Probably not. That's okay. Take it one step at a time. Jeez, don't give me that face. I don't mind that you don't remember anything. Really, it's fine. We can just create new memories, right? You're probably worried that I'm forcing myself to smile, right? Thanks. You're so nice, Kantaro. Oh, that's right. I bought you some strawberry, uh, some strawberry milk. Aren't I just great? Uh, you're great. <laughs> I'll do anything as if it's for your sake. Kantaro, how about we take a walk? Just for a change of pace, or do you not want to? Sure. Really? Thanks, Kantaro. This breeze feels good. These kinds of sunny days are the best to do laundry on. That's a weird 
thing to say, but alright. Wonder if looking at this clear blue sky will help you remember anything, Kantaro. Oh, that reminds me. Kantaro, do you remember why you were so close to dying? <gasps> nope. A stalker tried to kill you. A nasty killer that tried to get between you and me. You were... A real... They were a real bother. God, I can't read. But to think they go that far, you even end up losing your memory. That's a crazy level of, of obsession. Hey, Kantaro. That was something you absolutely have to do no matter what. What would you do? Save up money, take it by force, uh, save up some money. Oh, of course. You're rich after all. I know. Why don't we go shopping? Hmm. Where should we go? Lately I've been wanting to buy some clothes. Let's go, Kantaro. Okay. Then it's settled. We're off. We had some fun shopping together. Nagisa didn't care about my memory loss. She just stayed with me smiling the whole time. Somewhere along the way, I seem to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. Do the trust stylish for being in the hospital? It's a chair. Nagisa was sitting here. Looks like it's raining outside. My sullen face is reflecting the window. I think I might be pretty handsome. The clock is ticking away as time passes. There's a hallway behind the store. I can sense someone standing behind it. I'm Sane. Sane Koko Lei. Do you not remember me? I see. Sorry. Um, please excuse me. Take care. The girl walked away. Sanae Kokole. What kind of connection does she have with me? I offer my save point services throughout the nation. Care to save? Absolutely. Just for you, my guy. I go to sleep already? Yes. Day three. Suspicion. Today, Nagisa brought me to what she calls our memory spot. She calls it a spot, but it's actually my room. Kantaro, this is our memory spot. It's your room. And yes, I have my own duplicate key for it. <laughs> That's a girlfriend privilege. So, remember anything? Of course not. It's not like it would be that easy. But, um, the truth is, this is where we had our first time. First time? Kissy <laughs> kissy. First time? Jeez, don't you get it? This is where we had our first kiss. First time can mean both. Can mean two different things. All right, like that. This is. You gotta be specific. Yeah, I said it. I'm so embarrassed. Hey, Kantaro. I think I want you to do it. Do what? 
Chantra, you mean it. You should know what I mean without me saying it. Kiss me. Ah. Hmm. That was a little embarrassing. Even though it wasn't our first time. I think I'm feeling kind of fired up now. Are you listening? Damn it, Kantaro, don't ignore me. Say something instead of just sitting there all silent. Hey, Kantaro, is something bothering you? There hasn't been a strange girl following you around lately, has there? Yeah, I'm being followed. You're imagining things. Yeah, I'm being followed. I knew it. You need to watch out for her, Kantaro. She's the one who tried to kill you. I already know. I can never forgive her. This time, I'll definitely protect you. So... Stay by my side, promise? There's a hallway beyond the store. The lights have been turned off. I probably shouldn't go out. Looks like it's raining outside. My son fits with in the window. I think I might be pretty handsome. Clock is ticking away as time passes. There's a nameplate here, Mr. Kantaro. It's a chest of drawers. Looking at it more closely it shows that it's not a chest of drawers, it has a refrigerator integrated with it. Inside is a strawberry milk nagita not nagisa. Well for me. Hmm? There's a small scrap of paper inside one of the drawers. Read it. The day that girl came to my house again. She's like a stalker. I told her I already have a girlfriend, but she just keeps confessing over and over. Why me? For some reason, though, it doesn't bother me. Maybe because she's cute? If I didn't already have a girlfriend, I might have gone out with her. Why is it? Why do I not feel the least bit annoyed? A girl who blindly loves me. I guess that might not be so bad. I wonder who wrote this. For now, I'll just keep it with me. Mm, I wonder who wrote this. Got small paper scrap. It's a closet. There are clothes and a coat hanging in there. Maybe they're mine. Usa, my boy. Yes. Should I go to sleep already? Yes. We all know Usa's the best character. In all of these games. In every Sharon game. Day 4. Ichigale. It was time. Now I guess I should have come in to visit me. Like she always did. That's what I thought as I kept waiting. But Nagisa never came. Did something happen to her? Could it be that stalker? I got worried and, bur and burst out of the hospital room. Our memory spot. My room. She might be there. With that in my, in my mind, I ran over there. I arrived at our memory spot. My room was different than usual. The first thing that entered my field of view was red. Hello. Fresh blood. A person's blood.
Wow, Sanae, Musan is dead. Sanae. It was Sanae. Sanae Kokole was lying on the floor covered in blood. Is something wrong, Kantaro? Why did you yell so loudly just now? You really surprised me. Is there something on your mind? Sana is dead, did you do it? Sana is dead. Hmm? Oh, this? Yeah, I did it. Well, what do you think? Great, isn't it? Sana and Coco late, was it? She was kind of annoying, so I made it so she couldn't talk anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Kantaro. It must have been a real burden being followed around by her, huh? You were scared, weren't you? But now it's okay. I'm sure she'll never walk or talk ever again. I was finally able to protect you. Aren't I a good girl? Good girl. <laughs> Murder is a bit much. Uh. We'll go for good girl in the next run. Murder is a bit much. Hey, Kantaro. Now there is no one to get in our way. So, marry me. I'll start the preparations. Hell no! I'll do that in the next run. Really? I'm... I'm so happy. I... remembered. My memory was sloppy piecing itself back together inside my head, bit by bit. Oh, slowly, not sloppy. But something's off. That's it. That's it. The person I gave my first kiss to in this spot was a Nagisa. It was Sanae. If my regained memories are correct, everything Nagisa has told me is the complete opposite of the truth. My girlfriend was Sanae. Nagisa was the stalker. I don't know why she's told me all the things she has. Doesn't seem like she's simply lying. Was she trying to implant memories in my mind that were more convenient for her? When was it? It was raining that day. I went over to his house as usual. Then, I saw it. No way. Why? Why is this happening? What should I do? What should I do? I'm the only one good for him. So why... Are that plain girl and Kantaro... Just why? Kantaro, I don't understand. I'm so... I'm so, so, so much more in love with you than she is. A little too much for my taste. Ah, what is this? What is this? What is... What is this? What is this? Okay, I, I thought she was saying something else there. Everything is blurry, even with glasses. Oh. Kantaro must be in a bind. That boring girl has been stalking him. So he's hanging out with her, 
because he has no other choice. That must be it. Yeah, Kantaro's in trouble. I have to help him. You didn't do anything wrong, Kantaro. It's all her fault. That's right. This was all just a misunderstanding. It's not right. It's not, not, not right. This is all wrong. I'm the one that's going out with Kantaro. It's me. It's me. It's me. That was painful to say. I'm the one dating him. I'm the one dating Kantaro. It's me. It's me. Oh my god, I can't read. It's me. I'm the only one. The only one who Kantaro loves. Hoo <laughs> Just wait, Kantaro. I'll save you. I'll do anything for you. Including giving you amnesia for my own sake. After all, I love you more than anyone else in the world. You're lying. Why? Why would you say something like that? You're awful. I... I'm the stalker? Is that what you're saying? That's wrong. I'm your girlfriend. This is like... <laughs> this is like the opposite of like... The usual like stereotype of like parasocial like parasocial relationships usually it's like the the guy who's like super obsessed with like the girl how times have changed <laughs> she she's the stalker you don't remember anything you're just talking crazy Girlfriend is Sane, you're not my girlfriend. My girlfriend is Sane. The, that's the same answer. No. That's wrong. You and I are going out. Uh, you're wrong. You're wrong. Nagisa broke down crying. Large tears rolled down her cheek. Uh, wrong. You're wrong. I... I love you, Kantaro. Love. right here I will die I'm fine with dying if it's for your sake would I be better off dead yeah, you should die. Uh, yeah, you should die. You're right. I was just thinking the same thing. I think your support helped me make up my mind. I'm sorry for everything. I don't think I have much of a reason to live anymore. Thank you, Kantaro. I love you. It was only for a short while, but being able to be your girlfriend... ...made me happy. Suddenly... 
Nagisa thrust a knife into her stomach. It wasn't just once. Over and over. A river of deep crimson blood spilled out. Spilled out of her body. And then, she finally ran out of strength and toppled onto the floor. I was stunned by the scene unfolding before me. My hands and feet were trembling, I couldn't even move. All I could do was watch Nagisa die right in front of me. There was no way to stop or help her. I was a fool. Both before and after losing my memory. I was a spineless piece of trash. My room had been painted red with the blood of Nagisa and Sanai. Nagisa's lifeless eyes simply stared at me. You... loved me. Despite being drenched in blood, having died the way she did, I think I might love you too. Nagisa was smiling. Bad end. Nagisa's smile. Alright, we'll go for asshole options and that should be the last ending too. Alright, day one, awakening. You're awake? Jeez, Kantaro, you had me worried. I thought you might never wake up again. Kantaro? Uh... Who are you? Huh? Kantaro, don't tell me. Do you not remember me? Are you saying I, you don't remember anything about yourself either? It's me, Nagisa. Nagisa Ichigale. You and I are going out. I'm your... your girlfriend. Well, do you remember now? Who the hell are you? Wow, you really don't remember anything. Is this what they call a measure or whatever? Uh, I don't like this at all. How horrible. It's so sad they've forgotten everything. Hey, you're just messing with me, aren't you? You actually do remember who I am, right? Please don't scare me like that. Just so you know, we were practically so close we were... Wait. Just so you know, we were so close that we were practically about to get married, so... You better take that responsibility. Even if you've lost your memory, you're precious to me, Kantaro. I love you. I love you more than anyone else in the world. Sorry. Hmm. That's pretty hard for me, you know? When I heard you were on the verge of dying, I thought my heart was gonna stop. But I'm really, really glad you woke up. I'm so glad. I feel like I could cry. Ugh. Just do it already. You're awful, you dummy. I'm definitely not gonna cry. Kantaro. I don't know why, but it feels kind of sad. I'm the only one that remembers anything about you. Even you said... Even you yourself don't remember anything. Your face has a look like we're meeting for the first time. It's weird. Sorry, I'm kinda tired. I'll come see you again tomorrow, okay? Yeah, I'll bring you some more of that strawberry milk you love so much. See you later, have a nice rest, Kantaro. The girl who calls herself Nagisa Ichigale went home. 
seems to be my girlfriend. Apparently she'll be back to see me tomorrow too. I wish tomorrow would hurry up and come. I want to see Nagisa again. My save point services throughout the nation care to save absolutely i like how usa only cares about um the third girl the cafe la girl whatever her name was like he only asks if we like her and no one else i guess sharon had uh, her own best girl Day two outing. Good morning. How are you feeling? Were you able to sleep well? Did you remember anything? Probably not. That's okay. Take it one step at a time. Jeez, don't give me that face. I don't mind that you don't remember anything. Really, it's fine. We can just- oh god. We can just create new memories, right? You're probably worried that I'm forcing myself to smile, right? Thanks. You're so nice, Kantaro. Oh, that's right. I bought you some strawberry milk. Aren't I just great? Um, okay. Gah. Maybe I shouldn't have brought you anything. Kantaro, how about we take a walk? Just for a change of pace. Or do you not want to? Just for a bit. Really? Thanks, Kantaro. Mmm, this breeze feels good. These kinds of sunny days are the best to do laundry on. So, again, a weird statement. I wonder if looking at this clear sky, this clear blue sky, will help you remember anything, Kantaro. Oh, that reminds me. Kantaro, do you remember why you were so close to dying? I don't know. A stalker tried to kill you. A nasty stalker that tried to get between you and me. They were a real bother. But the thing they go so far. But, but the thing they go that far. You would end up losing your memory. That's a crazy level of, of obsession. Hey, Kantaro. If there was something you absolutely had, had to have no matter what, what would you do? Save up money, take it by force. What a coincidence, that's what I'd do too. I know, why don't we go shopping? Hmm, where should we go? Lately I've been wanting to buy some clothes. Let's go, Kantaro. No. Kantaro, you dummy. Even if you say no, I'm gonna drag you along with me. We had some fun shopping together. I guess I didn't care about my memory loss, she just stayed with me smiling the whole time. Somewhere along the way I seem to have started to pay more attention to her smiling face. Who's the uh, best girl? Day three, suspicion.
today, Nagisa brought me to what she calls our memory spot. She calls it a spot, but it's actually my room. Kantaro, this is our memory spot. It's your room. And yes, I have my own duplicate key for it. <laughs> That's a girlfriend privilege. So, remember anything? Of course not. It's not like it would be that easy. But, um, truth is, this is where we had our first time. Kissy kissy. That's right. This is where we had our first kiss. Yeah, I said it. I'm so embarrassed. Hey, Kantaro. I think I want you to do it. Got it. Ah. Um. That was a little embarrassing. Even though it wasn't our first time. I think I'm feeling kind of fired up now. Are you listening? Damn it, Kantaro, don't ignore me. Say something instead of just sitting there all silent. Hey, Kantaro. Is something bothering you? There hasn't been a strange girl following you around lately, has there? You're imagining things. I'm not imagining things. I know she's following you. She's the one who tried to kill you, I already know. I can never forgive her. This time, I'll definitely protect you. So, stay by my side, promise? Uh, this. Thank you, Usa. Always the best character. Let's go to sleep. Day 4, Ichigale. It was time. Nagisa should have to come in to visit me like she always did. That's what I thought as I kept waiting, but Nagisa never came. Did something happen to her? Could it be that stalker? I got worried and burst out of the hospital room. Our memory spot. My room. She might be there. With that in my mind, I ran over there. I arrived at our memory spot. My room was different than usual. The first thing that entered my field of view was red. Hello. Fresh blood. A person's blood. Masana is dead. It was Sanae. Sanae Kokole was lying on the floor covered in blood. Is something wrong, Kantaro? Why did you yell so loudly just now? You really surprised me. Is there something on your mind? Did you do it? Hmm? Oh, this? Yeah, I did it. Well, what do you think? Great, isn't it? Sanae Kokole, was it? 
It was kind of annoying, so I made it so she couldn't talk anymore. Uh, it's been real burn falling. Uh, I'll just skip to the options. A <laughs> good girl. I know, right? I worked super hard. Of course I did good. Hey, Kantaro. Now there's no one to get in our way. So marry me. Hell no. Why? I'm not going to let you say you don't want to. I remembered. My memory was slowly piecing itself back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you stop talking, please? Where right, there we go. You're lying. You're the stalker. Why? Why would you say something like that? You're awful. I... I'm the stalker? Is that what you're saying? That's wrong. I'm your girlfriend. She... She's the stalker. You don't remember anything. You're just talking crazy. You're not my girlfriend. No. That's wrong. You and I are going out. Ah, you're wrong. You're wrong. Nysa broke down crying. Large tears roll down her cheeks. Uh, wrong. You're wrong. I, I love you, Kantaro. Love. I will die. I'm fine with dying if it's for your sake. Would I be better off dead? Nah. Don't die. All you did was stalk me and kill the person I love. It's, it's cool. You didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Kantaro, you're so nice. Apparently a little too nice. That's why I fell for you in the first place. If you are going out with her, Sanae, if you had no intention of breaking up with her. You shouldn't have been so nice to me. You shouldn't have gotten my hopes up like that. You're cruel. But I'm glad I fell in love with you. I'm glad I was able to meet you. Back then, when I met you for the first time, my heart was racing. I was so happy. It was the first time I had ever felt that way. But in the end, it led me to doing something I can never take back. Hey, Kantaro. It was actually Sane I was trying to kill. So when you jumped in front of her, I ended up almost killing you instead. It surprised me. You went down with just one hit to the head. 
When I found out you had lost your memory, I was incredibly happy. I was thinking, oh, now I can finally make Hantaro mine. Love is pretty scary. It can make people happy and unhappy. I wonder, which it made me. You know, I'm thinking of just ending it all. After all, there's nothing left. Kantaro. You don't have anything left either, right? Yeah, you took it all. Kantaro, I want you to listen to my final request. I want you to hug me. Okay, uh, well... I don't really have a choice, okay? I put both my arms around Nagisa. I felt Nagisa's gentle warmth and a feeling of unease. By that time, it was already over. A knife had been stabbed into my stomach. Hey, hey. I'm glad, Kantaro. Hey. Will you stay with me? Forever? This might have been for the best. I deserved the punishment I received. No you fucking didn't. <laughs> it's okay. I'll go right after you do. So, wait for me. If it's the two of us, I'm sure we'll be able to go to heaven. Then we'll be happy forever. No, you're going straight to hell, but alright. What would you do if you went to heaven, Kantaro? If I went to heaven, I'd become God. That's right, I'd become God. What do you think will happen after I become God? I don't know. Once I become God, I'll bring happiness to everyone in the world. No one would have to be lonely anymore. No one would have to be sad anymore. No more fighting, no more pain. No more bullying, no more lonely people. I'll save everyone. My, con my consciousness was fading. My vision became more and more cloudy. I couldn't see anymore. Dark silence was killing me. I guess I'm going to die. I wondered where Nagisa went. I couldn't hear her voice anymore. I want to see her. It's pitch black. I'm lonely. I hear sirens. True end. Darkness.
Well, it wouldn't be a Sharon game if the main character didn't die in the true end and the Yandere bitch is the sympathetic one. <laughs> it would not be a game made by Sharon otherwise.